thank you to, to both of you. And I'm really just, I'm so incredibly sorry that you are going through this. I can't imagine um, what it's like to be in your shoes right now. Mayo, okay, maybe I can start with you. Is there any update at all that you've um, been given, either from the police or from your own investigations? No, the only updates we have are from uh, leads that we might get that don't pan out to be zealot. You know, people um, having sightings of people that may look like, like Z, uh, but don't turn out to be Z. And, and Kathy, I... You know, I mentioned it earlier, I'll repeat it. This is incredibly heartbreaking for you. When you gave that news conference and said, he's all you've got, I learned then that you had lost two daughters as well. So my heart just absolutely breaks for yes. you. Um, can you walk me through that last time that you saw Zelig, the last things that he said to you and that, that clue that he's holding an eight by 10 photo in his hand? Oh yeah. It started at about um, two, about two, two thirty that morning. He had got up and asked me if I was okay, and I told him yes, I'm okay. And um, he went back to bed. He said I'm going back to bed. And okay, and then after that, he went to bed, and um, I went back to sleep. And um, that morning, I got up and I I go walking every morning. And so I got up around about six, about six o'clock, and I leave the house around about uh, six twenty-five to be to the park at six thirty. So I go my to do my walking, and then I come back home and I sat on my front porch, um, reading my devotion, and Zelly came out, and Zelly said, "Good morning. How did you sleep last night?" I said, "I slept well." I said, well, good morning to you. How you slept last night? He said, I slept good. I said, okay, great. I said, um, let me um, let me see that photo shot you have in your hand. And he just, he just looked at me and said something, but I didn't understand what he was saying. So he got in, uh, in the vehicle and he left. And I didn't see him anymore. So uh, until I got a call from um, this young lady named Camille saying that uh, Zella was in a crash. I said, well, Zella just left me. And she said, well, it was a SOS. I didn't know what that was about, but she told me it was an uh, emergency contact that Zella had on his phone let them know that something happened. So he went to three three people in New York. And he left the house at 9.52 that morning, and that, that alert came through about 10.10 10 that morning. Mm -hmm. So almost an hour later, the alert... And by the way, I should ask you, uh, Mayoka, that it wasn't just one person who got the alert. Three no. of his friends got yes. the alert, right, for, for the car crash? Yes. And did they all report back to you at the same time, Mayoka? Um, I know they called Kathy. I don't think it was at the same time, um, but I know at least one of them she spoke with, and it was literally, I want to say, less than 20 minutes from when he left the house, because mm -hmm. it was 9.52 a.m. before um, when he left, and then 10.10 10 a.m. is when the, that pen came through. Kathy, I, something you said just a little earlier sort of stuck with me. He woke you up at about 2.30 in the morning to ask if you were okay. Is there something there... Um, any detail that, that maybe police can mine, something on his phone, maybe he got a text message from somebody and he was worried about his family. Like that just stands, that seems odd. Or, or maybe tell me, is it not strange that he would wake you up at 2.30 in the morning to ask if you're okay? Yeah, it was strange to me also. Um, yes, we don't know the reason why. You know, you might've heard that we said that we believe Zillick stopped taking his medication um, prior to him leaving. And I think that was one of the telltale signs for Kathy that something might be a little off, even though he seemed fine that morning when he so, left. Yeah, I'm just not sure. That That is an interesting piece as well, that he's on medication for mental wellness and, and had stopped taking it. Mm -hmm. What about the, the location? Mm -hmm. is he, does he frequent that trail? Is he a hiker? Does he go there for meditation mm -hmm. or walks? Or is that a strange place for the car to be found? So he, he possibly 
uh, been there before because as a family, we like walking trails, not hiking necessarily, but just walking trails in areas where you will find peace and serenity and can possibly just sit and, you know, think, you know, a little yeah. bit. So um, it was a surprise because we weren't familiar with the park or the trail, uh, especially at that end of it. But um, uh, it would be understood that he would he would go walking at a location like that. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your screen. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.